with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in to another soap making adventure. I'm doing something a little bit different, still making soap, but in a different form and trying a new technique, to me anyway. So I inherited these nice, beautiful, large butterfly molds and they've just kind of been sitting here and I didn't plan on doing anything with them. Some, some inspiration struck me <laughs> and that is what we're doing today. I have some eco glitter in here, biodegradable glitter, and I think what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle some of this on the inside at first. And then I'm gonna do some squeeze bottles that I'll fill up with some different colors. So I found these at, I believe it was a um, Joanne Fab, no, it was AC Moore. There's so many craft stores. And AC Moore in my old neighborhood was closing and they were having the sale where everything was discounted. And so I've had these things in the drawer for probably like a year. And I know I wanted to use them, but I never had any really inspire me to use them. They're kind of tiny, so I don't know how much I can use. I don't know, and it's gonna be fun. I don't even know how I'm gonna soap batter in there, how I'm gonna clean it out. It's just, there were just so many things running through my head about like, yeah, it's a cute idea, but here it's gonna be a pain in the butt. I can even like use these to draw or write on things, but we're going to fill them up with some colors and I think I'm gonna go and like fill in some of these cavity areas just to give these a little bit of design. I'm trying not to go too crazy with detail because I will be here forever. I've got some different colors. I've got some full throttle, a little sample of this neon yellow from Nurture Soap. Some other colors from Nurture Soap I have orchid purple, some Hollywood pink, and some, this is my favorite, and this electric blue. So this is what we're doing here. We're gonna take probably the pink and the yellow and put them in the squeeze bottles, and then I will like alternate, like two of these I'll just fill out with pink, and two of them I'll fill out with blue. And we'll just go from there and hope that my calculations are correct in how much these hold. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the glitter. And then we'll mix up the soap. I decided I'm going to whisk this because I'm going to split off some of those colors to put in the squirt bottles. I know that's going to take me a while and I don't want the rest of my soap batter to set up on me and get too thick that it's going to make filling those butterflies a pain. So let's get this mixed up. Oh, don't drop it in there. I also have my kaolin clay and my Tessa silk and sodium lactate in here. No coconut milk. I have kind of not been using that. I figure if I'm going to use milk, I have a container of goat milk that I'll occasionally throw in there for now. And I'm sure one day I'll go back to using coconut milk powder in my recipe. Let's see, I think that's just about incorporated enough that I can split some of this off for some colors to put in the squeeze bottles. Forgot I had these. These will come in handy. Should be making getting the batter into those bottles a little bit easier. Let me know how much I'm going to need. I'm only going to do a little bit. See how that works out. I'm also not going to add any fragrance to this so that it doesn't harden up on me too fast inside of the squirt bottles and I don't get too far. So Hollywood pink in one of these and just a tiny little bit of this full throttle in the other. I don't want like a real bright neon. I just wanted it to be a strong yellow color. So let's get them mixed up now and into our squeeze bottles. There's, there it is, okay. Wah! Wah! 
okay. What am I doing here? I'm making unnecessary messes. Take the spatula out. Try this again. Pay attention. All right, y'all, wish me luck. That yellow is a neon, and it's already starting to set up. So let's see if we can just fill in the yellow first, and then move on to the pink. All right, I am trying to not do too much crazy, intricate things today, and of course, the designs that I picked out today are crazy intricate. I thought this was gonna be so simple, and it just, got more and more detailed as I went along, so I can only blame myself. But I, I didn't have a sitter last week for Bash, and I'm kind of behind. I didn't get to make any soap last week. But I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> and this was random. This one wasn't even planned. It wasn't even on my calendar to do. But here we are. I really thought these were gonna be cute and I have a couple events scheduled that I will eventually talk about and I figure these would be really cool for like kids and just to have something different than the typical bar of soap. And back to not having a sitter. <laughs> it comes and goes. Brad's parents moved back to Deep Creek. Well, they didn't move back there. They've always had a house there, but they sold their house that was like 20 minutes away from us and as their new house is being built they are living in the d creek house and so we don't don't have a sitter there they used to come over on thursdays my stepmom typically comes over on fridays and then my mom really never knows her schedule so i can't really plan much as far as soap with her but i have been getting into some whipped sugar scrubs and when I say getting into, I mean I'm obsessed with them. So there's lots of those in the shop. At least as I'm filming this, there are lots of those in the shop. Hopefully they sell well enough and I will make more because I really do love them. It's something quick that I can whip up, literally, <laughs> while the baby is taking a nap. Like I'll take a 30 minute, 40 minute nap and I can whip up, and look at those leftover yellow. Let's start with the pink. I can whip up some sugar scrubs really quick while he's taking a nap. And I'm just obsessed with all the different kinds that I've come up with, the scents, the designs, the little soapy embeds on them. So if you guys are interested in some whipped soaps, they are probably, if they haven't sold out in the shop at the moment. And if they sell well enough, I will make more different kinds because I am really into making them right now. So please go buy them so that I can make more. <laughs> I did some butterbeer ones because I wanted them to match the bar soaps that I did. And a cotton candy one. These are gonna be really cute. I did a chocolate covered strawberry one. I'm just having so much fun imagining different um, scents and designs for these soap, whip soap scrubs. And if I think they sell well enough, I will make a video on how I make them. They're not that hard and I kind of cheat with a pre-mix but I've gotten a few requests to do a video. So if I make more, I will in fact make a video. And I think I poured off just too much of this soap in these bottles because I don't need that much. Honestly, I don't. So, hmm. Don't know what to do with all the soap in these bottles now. But I'm gonna keep going and decorating as much of the detail I can in these before I whip up the rest of the soap and get them finished.
Note to self, don't ever attempt this again. <laughs> I never ever want to put that much detail into those butterflies ever again. Will I use them again? Sure. They'll be like an in the pot swirl or like a solid color or maybe I could paint some mica on them, but I don't want to ever do squeeze bottles, designs, details, butterflies <laughs> ever again. So let's see how easy the rest of this goes because I'm, I've made a huge mess. I don't want to do my dishes today. All right, orchid purple in one, electric blue in the other. I'm gonna mix it up and add my fragrance, which is called Sweet Dreamer. It is a candy fluff dupe by Fragrance Buddy. I've had this and I've used it in quite a few things lately because you only need 1% of this fragrance. That is the allowable that you can put in to pretty much any Bath & Body products with this fragrance. And so that's really all you need because a little goes a long way. It's a very strong fragrance, but boy, does it take forever to get rid of. All right, I didn't mix that blue all the way up because I'm gonna start with pouring in the purple first. And these designs are all set up. I am not worried about any of that design splishing around everywhere. Yes, I said splishing. My brain is fried right now. <laughs> After all of that, and I worked up a sweat. So let's start with the purple. I'll get two of these filled, and then I'll fill up two with the blue. didn't add the fragrance, you guys. I didn't add the fragrance. Hey, let's make more of a mess, shall we? Let's see what happens. I smell it, that's the thing. I'm like, oh, this. I'm so tired of smelling this fragrance. Why is my mica not all mixed in? Well, that's because I didn't add the fragrance and scrape down the bowl, so I'm going to make a bigger mess here. You guys, I'm just not having a good day. I don't know if it's because I'm like rushed or I'm just sick of this butterfly design. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Close your eyes. <laughs> you know, that last part was supposed to be easy. <laughs> I've never ever forgotten add fragrance to my final product of any soap, but that was a close call. And now we're gonna pretend it never happened because I'm going to put the fragrance into my blue and start pouring that one now. <laughs> all right, let's unmold these and see if all the pain and suffering <laughs> went into making them was worth it. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad at them now. Like, I think that turned out really cool. If I were to do this, it would totally be a different approach. Squeeze bottles and soap are not my friends. Now, if I were to decorate them, like pipe some color on them after they came out of the molds, or even using a piping bag and putting some soap in it and and like decorating the bottom of this mold. That would be a better idea than using squeeze bottles. That was a nightmare. And of course, not forgetting my fragrance <laughs> is a big thing to remember. So not mad at these. I love how they turned out. I just wish I didn't have such a hard time with making them. And they smell very nice. I like them. So these are going to be available on, let's see, August 27th. 
I'm going to hold some of them back because I'm doing an event on July 31st that I'm going to take these two. That is the plan and one of the biggest reasons why I made them. It is called Christmas in July and it is at the fire station across the street from me and I'm doing a little vendor event, just dipping my toes in the water and seeing how it goes. But I wanted to have these specifically for that. But if you are interested in purchasing them, there will be some limited number in the Etsy shop on August 27th. That is the next shop update. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around to the end of this because I know that got really scary <laughs> and messy. But I I think they turned out really cool. I just wouldn't do it this I wouldn't attempt this again as far as squeeze bottles. Now you guys know when I say I'm trying something different and it's that if that's how I start the video out just uh, it's doomed. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. I think that's what it is. I'm just setting myself up for disaster. But again I love how they turned out. Yes, thank you all for watching and sticking around. If you have any questions or comments leave them for me in the comment section down below. If you didn't do so feel free to hit that thumbs up button. I know it's hard <laughs> the way this video went, but for all my hard work and how awesome these turned out, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more soap making videos. I promise this is not always this much of a disaster. Um, yeah, until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.